kick out of it too because i'll you know on a good day if i show up with persimmons and go out and shoot 68 or something you know people are just like what <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it makes for some interesting conversation of the night. Oh, 19th. sure. It sure. gives them something to talk about, too. Like, hey, this guy's weird old guy. You know, whatever. <laughs> I, I'll tell you just real quick. You know, my, my dad uh, passed away in uh, 2015. And I it was very sad for me to have, have his golf clubs. He, he played uh, 285 rounds of golf the year before he died. Wow. Every day, pretty much, right? Every That's day unreal. Before. Yeah. And he was, uh, you know, that was, he was 80, 83 years old and played wow. every day. And he played the same, you know, golf clubs his whole life, the old Stan Thompson blade irons and all that. So I thought, you know what, instead of just sitting there looking at these clubs, I'm going to, I'm going to play my dad's clubs. I wore my dad's clothes and I, and I showed up at a golf course that my dad and I had played years and years ago. And I, uh, wore his hat and I just registered under his name and I just played as him. Ken. <laughs> How cool okay. is that? So, and I'll tell you what, I go out and I was, uh, <clears throat> let's see, I was six under par after 12 holes. That's awesome. You know, and uh, the guys in my group, you know, I'm hitting, you know, persimmon woods and everything. And the guys, the guys in my group are just like, what? <laughs> what <is this? laughs> you know, because I, I, I mean, I'm not dressed in modern clothes. I'm using the old clubs and everything. I mean, it's guys were just like, it, it was just really a hoot. You know, it was just a lot of fun. And uh, I made a couple more birdies. I think I had eight birdies that day. And uh I shot 60, 66, and it was just, um, you know, really a hoot. And then I just set that aside. And it was, I don't know, it was almost just kind of like one of those magical things or something, you know. But uh, it was fun. My point is that it's fun. You know, yeah. whatever uh, clubs you do play, for the guys that are still, you know, playing the persimmons and embracing that, uh, the original intentions of the game, like if you play a golf course, you know, older course, classic track, well, the course was designed for 250 yard drives. Yeah. So if you really want to appreciate the architecture and how the original intentions were that, you know, you, 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 it's a risk to try and get over this bunker off, off the tee, but you should play to the right or whatever. And if you go out there and you have a club that just hits it 50 yards over that stuff, I mean, and to me, it's like, you know, who am I really kidding? Yeah. You know, so I, I want to just play it like, when I play a round of golf, I am playing, I have several opponents out there. I am playing the, the architect. Yeah. I am playing the weather, mm -hmm. right? Mother nature. Yep. And I am playing the greenskeeper. Yep. Right? I'm playing where the tees are, where are the pins, you know, somebody's decide making those decisions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm playing those three opponents. And then, you know, you could say I'm playing myself in my own brain or maybe somebody else. But, but.